What's up with it, y'all? I'm back with another video. Now, I'm not going to make this video here too long because it's pretty much self-explanatory. But basically, I'm going to be breaking down this um, music video called Kim Trails Over the Country Club by Lana Del Rey that just dropped maybe like three or four weeks ago. Now, um, this is basically what I took from the video, you know, my thoughts and what I picked up on it when I watched the video. So... Since I'm not able to actually insert the video and go over it that way because of copyright reasons, I actually took screenshots and I put scriptures by them so y'all could kind of get an understanding. But instead of me just straight dropping it like that, I got to give y'all a little overview so y'all can know exactly what it is that's going on. Now, in this video, it's about chemtrails over the country club. Now, we all know what chemtrails are. It's basically these poisonous shit that they spraying in the air above our heads and stuff on a daily basis day and night you know poisoning our brains and things of that nature and our minds and stuff and the country club it symbolizes the rich and power a lot of people may not know that but that's what it symbolizes that's why i've used to go back and watch this video which i want you guys to do go and watch it for yourself you will gain more of an understanding um, in the beginning of the video, it basically shows the rich, you know, how they get down. They, um, they dance, they playing poker, they laughing in their backyards, you know, they throwing parties, they having coffee with each other, you know, basically living it up La Vida Loca and shit without a care in the world. But at nighttime, they basically shape shift into these wolves in sheep clothing, you know, that's where... I, we would get that phrase from, just like the most I said, that these people are actually wolves in sheep clothing. And in this video, they literally shape shift into wolves. And they, you know, go inside of the um, woods or whatever late at night. They do all these demonic things and, you know, all on that sitting backwards and shit and flipping upside down and just, just a, basically a lot of demonic activity. And they basically shedding blood. They in the woods and shit doing rituals and things of that nature. So it shows how at nighttime that's what they do. You know, the rich. That's how they get down. And when it's all said and done, they go back, you know, into their big ass homes. Their big nice homes. They take a shower. They wash the blood off. They, the, they shed the innocent blood or whatever. And they crawl back into their beds. And all of their eyes lit up, you know, because they are possessed by these demons. They are actually wolves in sheep clothing. And that's what the whole video is about. That's what I took from it. I feel like that's what they're trying to show you during the whole video. So basically what I did was I took screenshots, you know, little pictures or whatever. And I put scriptures by them so you can kind of gain an idea of what it was that I'm getting it, you know. You're not blind going into watching this video. So, yeah. She, without further ado, I'm going to just jump right in it. And um, another thing, Lana, the person that you're looking at on your screen, that is a male. It's an inverted female. It, Lana was actually born a dude, you know. So, I'm going to call, call him what it is. You know, you got to keep that shit all the way 100. I'm telling y'all, all these celebrities, like, everybody y'all think y'all looking at, you think you looking at a woman, but that's really a nigga. And the niggas that you think you looking at, they really females. So, but that's for another video. But, yeah, I'm basically just going to break down this, um, this music video or whatever, just with picture. Like, I ain't going to be talking no more. I see, so let's just jump right into it. Chapter 7 Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye? And behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek, 
and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good things unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. 